Hello everyone. After continuous efforts from the scientist and the chemist for decades, we got a usable periodic table which is the modern periodic table. But why is this table so important? What purpose does it serve? Let us see. Now here we see a part of modern periodic table and here sodium is located at first group and third period and its position gives a lot of information about it. First group means one valence electron means the valency of the element is one. In case you forgot the number of electrons in the outermost shell of a particular atom are called valence electrons. So valency of sodium is one and sodium is a metal. So what is so special about groups? We already know that the electrons in the outermost orbit of the atom are called valence electrons. You know all the elements in a group have the same number of valence electrons which means they have the same valency. Thus group 1 consisting of hydrogen and alkali metals have one valence electron and Group 2 consisting of alkaline earth metals have two valence electrons. Talking about hydrogen, the anomalous position of hydrogen remains the problem as it can go to period 1 or period 17. But as hydrogen has only one valence electron, it has been placed in group 1. The halogens in group 17 have seven valence electrons. Now what about elements in group 18? The noble gases or the inert gases? Well, the noble gases as we know are the least reactive of all known elements and this is because they have eight valence electrons in their outermost shell or the energy level and thus their outermost energy levels are full. Here the exception is helium which has just two electrons but in this case too the outermost energy level is full. As we move across a period from left to right we move from metal to non-metal. In the modern periodic table a zigzag line separates metal and non-metals like a border. So we can say elements indicated in blue boxes are metals and the borderline elements indicated by reddish color boxes for example elements like boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, tellurium, polonium etc. are called semi-metals or metalloids and all the elements placed in yellow color boxes are non-metals. Another interesting thing to observe in a given period the atomic size or the radius of atom decreases as we go from left to right. You may wonder why. Well, as the atomic number increases as we move towards right, the nuclear charge increases because of more protons and the nuclear pull pulls the electrons closer to the nucleus. Hence, the atomic radius decreases. And what happens in a given group? Well, the atomic size will increase as we go down in a group. Basically, as we go down in a group, each element has an additional occupied energy level or shell. So, third period means three electron shells. Fourth period means four electron shells. And more electron shells means increase in atoms radius, that is, the distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell. So we can get a good idea about sodium's atom size from its position. Thus you can have a good idea about electron configuration, chemical properties of an element from its position in the modern periodic table. For example, calcium is in second group which means its valency is and it's a metal. Calcium also lies in the fourth period 
This means there are four shells in the electron configuration. If we write the electron configuration of calcium, we can easily see that it has four shells and there are two electrons in the outermost shell and thus its valency is 2. So we see the periodic table is very useful. That's all for now. Bye-bye.